that. This is no ordinary teenage chat, at least not when the cameras are around. I mean, even in that newspaper, it backs it up. I'm right. telling you. But these are no ordinary young men. Three of them will go to Eton, Winchester and City of London, respectively, getting past some of the most challenging selection processes in education. Before Eton, we discuss, and I've boost my confidence by discussing with my head teacher about current affairs, and then later on, overall, my overall confidence started to develop. So then I thought, you know what, let me give it a go. Let me see how it goes. If I can get in, that would be great. If I can't, I just pick myself up and move on. And I think that was the case for Alexis and her friend as well. Well, it started in October when I had to sit exams in some of the subjects I was doing at A-level. And then interviews in November and then finally offered in December. Their backgrounds are far from privileged. The school they attend has a weaker than average pupil intake. They live in the third most deprived borough in the country. And they're the sons of social workers, factory workers and single mothers. Uh, my parents wanted me to have good education, just like a lot of the others here do. They came from India, so they didn't really know much about this. Uh, they didn't know really much these schools existed, let alone that I would uh, get a place. Tony Blair, toxic, liar as they say. I think they represent a lot of children from the East End of London who would love to have this opportunity, but maybe haven't been encouraged to apply. So I think in crossing that boundary, for me, is, is the, uh, the big jump. It's really about the aspiration. It's about getting children to believe. With that belief and close help from their head teacher, come September, their surroundings will change from this to the likes of this. And so will the direction of the rest of their lives.